We have tasted a lot of food here in the Philippines, but one experience we have missed so far is the classic buffet. And boy do Filipinos love their buffets. So for our first buffet experience here in the Philippines, we haven't just chose any old buffet, we have gone for the most luxurious, biggest one here in the country, and that is the Spiral Buffet here at the Sofitel Philippines. How do you decide what to eat? There are so many different cuisines. There's Indian, I've seen a sushi bar, there's Italian, Chinese, like dim sum. Oh my goodness, there is just so much here. They've got pastries, they've got desserts, they've got a cheese room, they've got, oh, there's just every cuisine you can think of, they will have it here at this buffet. First meal, and we've gone to the Peking Duck Station, and they just serve it right there in front of us. This looks so juicy, it's so overwhelming, having everything in front of you. And then he plates it all up, Oh, looks so good. Thank you. Hayley is eyeing up some Italian. You've got a whole two wheels of cheese that you get the pasta cooked in. Oh my gosh, look at is that. Is that a cabanara? Oh, that's my absolute favorite. And this is straight from a wheel of cheese, so you know it's gonna be good. Amazing, thank you. Oh, oh that smells good. Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> the quality is absolutely crazy here. Everything just looks immaculate and fresh. Okay, first off we have, I have some duck and some pork. It look, I think it's a honey roasted pork and some duck. Mmm, oh. That sauce is a killer. Look at this. Look at this juicy, juicy sauce. Time to put this cabanara to the test. I got extra cheese. Oh yeah. Oh. That's so, so young. Oh my goodness. It's a weird shaped pasta, but it's so delicious. So first meal down, I think next we're gonna try crack into some Indian food as that stuff looked amazing. Oh my gosh, we just get so hypnotized. Making some fresh sashimi right next to us. There's also just a meat. You love your meats? Your meat station. Look at this, look at this meat. Thank you. No, you always say something. Thank you. Haley's gone for a paneer cheese curry and I think some samosa, no, what have we got? Some, some lentil and vegetables and then I think we're gonna crack into some samosas because we've got lamb cheese samosa, vegetable samosa, chicken samosa. This is a very full plate, but gotta give everything a go, so let's head back. One thing I'm finding amazing is that mostly all the serving sizes are really small. They just give you like one little thing like that, except for the lechon, which they overpowered my, my plate with everything else. Nice small sizes, so you get to try a bit of everything. So first up is a cream cheese paneer. This looks so saucy and so good. Oh, I love Indian. That's really good. It's crazy to think we're at a buffet right now. Everything is really good and cooked in front of you. We got some lechon here with some sort of sauce. I don't know, he just said, do you want sauce on it? And I said, yeah, sure. That is really soft, so moist. Oh, the ones we've had previously are so fatty. Look, there's all this fat that's on it. Oh. We got three samosas with three different fillings. I think this is the vegetarian one, but I guess we'll find out. Wanna wanna, it's a vegetarian one. Mm, it's so yummy. It's very thick breathing to it. So it's still good. So this is supposedly filled with chicken adobo. I'm pretty excited to give this a go. It's really yum. It's not what I was expecting. It's got a really hearty filling to it. Mm. 
pastry is nice with them. This is really delicious. Really got to be strategic because we don't want to fill up. There's still so many different cuisines and desserts, pastries, breads. I'm going to go check out the Chinese dim sum area. Butters. <laughs> I have so many flavors of butters. I think one of them is a peach butter. Wait, show me, show me this butter. Where's this butter at? Who comes to a buffet and just orders straight butter? I'm glad butter. you're coming with me because I'll get some more butters. <laughs> Try pesto, pesto butter, ap apricot butter, unsalted butter, and then at the top we have got some honey truffle butter. I might have to get another piece of bread. <laughs> Oh my goodness, never before in my life have I heard of apricot butter. I am most excited for that, I've been out of everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's got even apricot pieces in it. So much butter, but... So conflicting. I think it's like two things that shouldn't go together. <laughs> Garlic butter, sauce. Here we go. We oh, that's one. delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the winner, winner. Garlic dinner. So I chose, was it garlic truffle butter, I think? I don't really. What? Honey truffle. Honey. Hu what? Is it honey truffle? Yeah. Okay, honey, honey truffle butter. So as you can see, you can see the truffle, truffle there, that black coming through. Oh man, wow, that is balanced beautifully. I feel like breads are the worst thing to have at a buffet when there's all these amazing meats, but wow, how oh, phenomenal. I had the best butter I've had in my life, ever. So I went to the Chinese section, no rice for me, I just went straight meats and we've got some pork belly and like oyster sauce I think, it looks so saucy. Oh my god, wow. Oh, that is packed with flavor. Soft mountain flavor is just beautiful. Oh man. That's the best thing I've had by far today. Next up was some sort of Chinese fried chicken drumstick. It's gonna get messy, but it looks really good. The coating on this thing. Oh. Crispy chicken on the outside. A really unique like flavor on this. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna make my way to the desert. This is what I've been waiting for all night and frankly for this entire trip. So let's go. Oh my goodness, this is complete dessert heaven. There is every kind of dessert you can think of. And I mean, we've got chocolate and cake pops, sundae bars, and all of this looks amazing. In total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 little desserts plus ice cream, actually 16, plus there's some bark, 17, 18, pretty much 20 different desserts here for you to choose from. Hi, can I get um, one, one of each for everything? She's carefully going through every single one. We just, okay, we got a second plate here, look. One plate dessert, two plates. Oh my plates. goodness, two full plates Oh my of gosh, dessert. look at that. I'll pop that there. Oh, plus lolly, what is it, lollipop? There's strawberry and coconut pop. Oh, the fondue is going, look at that beautiful. They got three, I think, milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate. This is just sugar overload. I have a plate full of dessert, and first up, I'm gonna start with the chocolate tart. Going in strong. Looks so good, it's like moussey on the inside. It's really good. It's really, really good. Next up is the lemon meringue. This thing looks so soft and fluffy. Oh my god. Wow. That's amazing. I normally don't like lemon meringue, but that is incredible. 
This is a Banoffee tart. It is so soft, it feels like it's gonna collapse in my hand. Wow, that is so good. Put caramel in there, that is delicious. Oh, hello. Sir, you want your balloon? What's this? Balloon. It's a duck. Oh, balloon. Oh, it's the, the duck egg. Yeah, that egg. Duck egg. Would you like to try it? I'll try. I haven't tried one yet. Let's go. Uh, try that? Really? Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I've got to pierce this thing. So now drink. Okay. Salute to balloon. Oh. It's very eggy, it's just like an eggy egg drink. Oh, okay. Oh, this looks terrifying. This is gonna take a while. Oh, it looks, it's, I'm drinking it, but like seeing some black little baby bird. I'm not touching the chick, that just, I can't, like it's staring at, I, I can do this. There it is. Dude, we've got a neighbor here telling us how to eat it, but oh, there's the balloon. There's actually it's a, ba a baby chick. I don't know how many days old, but you can see it. I don't. I've got it hidden down underneath, but once you peel it, you can see the chick there that is unfortunately being cooked. It's not for everyone. Not for me. Definitely not for Haley. She's cringing. So a step too far out of my comfort zone. I've been just like, nah. Apparently, there is a cheese room somewhere. So we're going, oh, here it is. The cheesiest of cheese rooms. Do we press? Oh, there we go. Oh, it opened. Oh. And we go in. Oh, it smells very pungent. <laughs> so we've got a whole boat of cheese. That way. And then more cheeses, salamis, meats. So we've got meats. Meats to go with your cheeses. Cheeses to go with your meats. Hang in, and oh, then they've got the refrigerator back there that's storing all the all the cheeses. This is definitely cheese heaven. I don't think I've ever seen so many cheeses in one place, uh, and I think the smell is a definite sign of quality. So the seating for this place is spread everywhere, all around. There's seating there. There's the main atrium, kind of scattered around. This whole restaurant is seating, so you're not all in one area, which is quite nice. But it's kind of split up between the small two to four groups and then the large groups. This buffet is on a completely another level. It is absolutely crazy how much selection they have here and how much staff as well. So this is the Korean and I think Thai section. Can't go wrong with a Pad Thai. So along with the green curry, which is a thing of chicken, chicken, eggplant and Thai basil green curry, we're gonna get a classic Pad Thai. Thank you, look at this thing. Oh, that is the goods, let's go. All right. Now we are on to a Thai, and first up we're gonna go with this Thai green curry with the chicken. Oh, it's actually pretty good, great spices. The chicken is just a bit chunky. That's my only critic, oh, a bit spicy. I think this Pad Thai is probably going to be my last meal before I hit dessert because I'm starting to expand and expand like a little hot balloon. So this thing looks pretty, but it looks kind of dry. Squeeze some lime over it, some calamasi. Let's give this a go. Good flavor, it's just a super dry Pad Thai. We love really saucy with the tamarind sauce but unfortunately it's just a bit dry, but to be honest, it's still actually really yummy and I'm pretty happy with it. Haley had dessert earlier, but now it's my turn and it looks really packed. I think everyone's now lining up for their yummy treats. We've got this Hala Hala station right next to me. Thank you so much. Wow, this is like an amazing hello hello. Hello hello in English means mix mix. So the key to a good hello hello is to mix it all up. Traditionally you have ubi ice cream, but I decided to be a little bit different and get cookies and cream ice cream. 
It's a little bit hard to mix with such a small spoon and such a tall glass, but here we go. I think I got a pretty good first bite in store. So many different flavors and textures in my mouth. I got quite a lot of beans in that one. I'm not a huge fan of beans and dessert, but everything else is delicious. Our tummies are full, we're happy, and boy, did we enjoy that. The desserts were the highlight for me. The quality of them was just outstanding, and they had a massive selection. The whole thing is actually an amazing like journey. It's not just coming here to have a normal buffet. It is an exceptional event, I would call it, and definitely, I think, worth the high price, but something I wouldn't do every day. And if you enjoyed watching us destroy this buffet, I'm sure you'll like these other food adventures that we've had around the Philippines and also Thailand. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell. And say hi to us in the next video. Woo.